When I started as a project manager in the architecture and construction department for Southwestern Bell in 1978, we were a Herman Miller client, one of their largest. I think we were number three. Texas Instruments was number one. The Herman Miller rep at the time, his name is Jim Ellert, gave me a book. It's called A Facility Based on Change. When I read through the book, the timing couldn't have been better. It was explaining all of the changes culturally that we were going through at Southwestern Bell. We were going through a stage of going from those mechanical analog switches to brand new digital switches. And one of those digital switches replaced two and a half floors of those mechanical switches, those brass armatures that you hear going click, 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 click. Some of you may be old enough to remember the phones that when you dialed them, you heard the click, 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 click. Those came from those analog switching centers. So the communications technology change from analog to digital was also driving a new business model. It was ushering in what became known as the information economy. And in order to adapt to this information economy and the information flow, we were moving from management offices and private offices and staff in what was called bullpens, open desks, into a cubicle environment. But understanding the why, why was this new tool really a facilitator for the changes we were going through were explained in this book. And you can see that I've marked it up. One of the important concepts is the eight criteria for addressing flexible environments or facilities based on change. So pulling this book back out is very prescient in this time. The criteria still apply. Now the context is very different, but the disruption of change is still the same and the criteria is design criteria. This is classic design criteria for environments of change. Everybody in the industry should have a copy of this book and have it underlined like mine so you can explain to your clients what's going on for them and go through the criteria for them that'll help them understand how to bring change in so it doesn't become overly complex, overly complicated, and really constrain the change and growth and become something that facilitates change. Hence, a facility based on change. So getting this book is a little pricey. You go onto Amazon, I think the copies are anywhere from $115 up to $420. It's a worthwhile investment. Hopefully, Herman Miller will update it, bring it back out. But I wanted to share this with you, especially with the Herman Miller Knoll merger and the histories and the tradition and the thought leadership they bring. This is still a very good read. Take care.